Acadian Vanguard presents the Wrestling News in your daily wrestling newscast for Friday, December 15th, 2023. Good morning, I'm Mike Sempervivi. We begin today with news on TV rights negotiations for Monday Night Raw. WWE executives met with representatives of Warner Brothers Discovery earlier this week, according to a story initially reported in PW Insider and confirmed elsewhere. TKO's Mark Shapiro, WWE President Tony Khan, and Chief Content Officer Paul Levesque were in New York City on Monday to meet with WBD Executive Bruce Campbell about WBD potentially signing with TKO for the broadcast rights to Monday Night Raw. It was reported that the meeting lasted several hours. WBD had previously passed on Raw Media rights, but it's been reported by Dave Meltzer of the Wrestling Observer and others that the return of CM Punk to WWE and his arrival on the Raw brand played a part in rekindling potential interest on the part of WBD, which had also shown interest in Punk while he was still with AEW. WBD currently holds broadcast rights to AEW programming, which airs on TBS and TNT, the company's two chief basic cable networks. It's not known what would potentially happen to that programming, if anything, should WBD pick up the media rights for Raw. Other potential suitors mentioned with regard to Monday Night Raw are Amazon Prime and Disney's FX. Raw's current deal with USA Network expires next year. Ring of Honor streamed last night on Honor Club, featuring matches taped December 5th and 6th at the Bell Center in Montreal. In the main event, ROH World Champion Eddie Kingston beat Evil Uno in a non-title Proving Ground match. In other Proving Ground matches, ROH World Women's Champion Athena defeated Rose, and ROH Pure Champion Wheeler Yuta defeated Jason Geyer. In a four-way tag team match, the Butcher and the Blade emerged victorious over the Work Horsemen, the Outrunners, and the Infantry. In other selected results, Brian Cage beat Gravity, Dalton Castle and the boys topped the Iron Savages and Jack Jameson, and Taya Valkyrie went over Rachel Allring. And in ratings news, last Wednesday night's Winter is Coming edition of Dynamite on TBS saw a large increase in the key demographic rating while holding relatively steady in total viewership, according to Russell Nomics. The episode brought in 845,000 viewers, a 3% increase from last week's audience of 823,000. In the 18 to 49 year old demographic, the rating was a 0 .30, up 20% from last week's key demo rating. And before we leave you today, we'd like to remind you that however you consume your content, you can find the wrestling news 24 hours a day and seven days a week across social media. On Twitter, follow us at Wrestling News AV. Our Facebook page is also Wrestling News AV. The Wrestling News can also be found on the Arcadian Vanguard YouTube page. And for those who utilize Amazon Echo devices, just tell Alexa to play the Wrestling News podcast. And remember to make sure you add podcast at the end. Once again, for daily updates, breaking news, and more, follow the Wrestling News across social media. And that's the news for today. If anything happens... We will be here to tell you about it. No clickbait, no paywall, just the wrestling news. The Wrestling News is a division of Arcadian Vanguard, and the Wrestling Newscast is a production of the Arcadian Vanguard Podcast Network.